Someone's here. Is that you guys or them? That was not me. Oh, I see him. Oh, God. Careful there. peeking. Tag, there's two. Still one definitely in that building, by the way. You got a trap there, Shane? Yeah. Tried to use a window right next to you. He just ran right by the door. Yeah, he ran by the window. <laughs> you guys? Oh, yeah, two of them on the Oh, one. Oh, blow me away. Coming up the stairs. Oh, of course. Two down. I think that might have been the third. Third down. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well done. I'm glad I didn't bring slugs. <laughs> hey folks, Dave here, and it is Hunt Showdown Patch Day. Today is the release of 1.8.1, which releases a new daily quest system, some new grunt types, as well as the uh, exclusive Trader's Moon event weapons from last month launch for everyone. I wanted to do a video today on the Slate Pump Action Shotgun. It's the 1893 in Hunt Showdown, but in reality, it's the 1897 Winchester Trench Gun. This is one of my all-time favorite shotguns in games, but also, overall, I actually own one of these. So uh, it's kind of personal to me. I got super excited when I saw that they were going to have it in Hunt Showdown. And uh, in this video, I'm going to bring you guys some gameplay with this new shotgun in Hunt and make some comparisons to the real life thing. I am going to focus on the Hunt Showdown specific version of this shotgun, the fictional 1893. But if you guys want a full video on the real deal, I have a full episode of Backyard Battlefield, my firearm series, with this very shotgun up on the channel. I'll link it right down there at the top of the description if you guys want to check that out. out first though let's talk about the hunt version now there is already a pump action shotgun in hunt the specter it has a longer barrel compared to the slate here and it's going to have a bit of a, a tighter grouping on the buckshot than any of the other scatter weapons that the specter uses so the advantage here that you're going to have with the slate is going to be a faster pump action and a more reliable reload. The Spectre was a uh, more rough design, more experimental, and uh, in-game it's reflected in its very difficult reload where you're going to lose the round in the chamber if you reload before your magazine is empty on the Spectre. And uh, pumping that Spectre is just a bit more awkward and slower uh, with its, again, more complicated mechanical action. The Slate, uh, the classic trench gun here though, this is a smooth, smooth action. It is just absolutely like glass. It is, this is a hundred year old shotgun guys and it functions beautifully. This is the exact one that I shot so much uh, for the Backyard Battlefield episode. Hundred years old action feels great. In game and hunt, that faster rate of fire with the smooth pump action is going to be one of your main advantages compared to the Spectre. Although, uh, having again shot this a whole bunch in real life, you can cycle this gun super, super fast. And it actually has a trigger that lets you slam fire where you can hold the trigger down and just pump the action. And as each round is chambered, it continues to fire uh, as the round hits the chamber. And you can just mag dump really, really quickly. That's how fast the action on the trench gun is. In game, in hunt, your character's pump action on the slate does feel painfully slow compared to real life, but that is, of course, for gameplay balance purposes. It's still going to be faster than that original Spectre pump action shotgun. The other advantage that the slate is going to have here is its magazine tube that holds its five rounds plus one in the chamber uh, right here along the barrel. The advantage to that magazine tube is you can actually in-game and hunt, top off, uh, the magazine tube with a round already in the chamber. You don't need that six point upgrade cost bullet grubber perk to keep the round in the chamber. You can actually just 
put rounds right into the magazine tube without messing with the one in the chamber. That's not the case with the older Spectre pump action shotgun. You do have to have the bullet grubber perk to keep that round in the chamber uh, if you're using that older shotgun. So two plus sides to the slate. You get to keep that extra round and the rid of fire is a little bit better. The expense being the shorter barrel means you're gonna have uh, a wider buckshot pattern at up to the maximum kill uh, range, which is still 12 meters. In all honesty though, guys, it's probably best that we don't have the ability to cycle the action as fast as you can in real life uh, there in Hunt, not just for gameplay balance reasons, but because you can mag dump your ammo so fast that uh, you're gonna find yourself completely empty before you know it. Right now, you also only have two ammo types for the slate in game. You've got your penny shot, which is not great for penetration compared to buckshot. And of course you have the slugs. Now I've heard that the slugs are super overpowered and I've had a couple of nice kills with them, but they're a really, really expensive loadout. Nice. I believe it's now 250 for the base shotgun and then an extra 250 or no, sorry, 300 hunt dollars to get the slugs but they are a one hit kill to the body but like i said i'm just too poor in game to run that loadout very often so i've only got just a bit of experience with it it wouldn't surprise me if that got balanced a bit more uh, for players that have tons of money and are just going to run that all the time for the easy body click kills let's be honest though penny shot at 10 hunt dollars is where it's at for just 10 bucks you can unlock Limitless one-liner potential. This guy's close. So I'm gonna give him the pennies. Keep the change. Oh, I'm me. Oh. I actually unlocked this shotgun pretty early on during the event last month. Uh, but in keeping with my usual luck in this game, my first round spawning in with it, we got absolutely spawn killed. <laughs> rolled over and I barely got to fire a shot with it. I called it though before we went into the round. I was like, I've been waiting for this shotgun. I'm super excited. I'm going to die a super dumb death. Sure enough. Ah. Oh, oh man. Wow. Remember Edgar what I said? <laughs> Remember what yeah. I said? Yeah. I told you as soon as I unlocked this thing, I was going to die in a really stupid way with it. So guys, long story short, the Winchester 1897 or the Winfield 1893 slate in Game and Hunt really is a fantastic addition to the game's uh, weapon roster, even if they had to move the lore up by just a couple of years. I think it's pretty well balanced right now, just from my limited, relatively new player experience. We'll see if the slugs get removed or costs adjusted down the road, but uh, it's really cool to see the trench gun my all-time favorite shotgun and just an absolute iconic firearm in a game that uh, I'm really, really enjoying right now. So again, it is out uh, with this patch for everyone to unlock and use right now. Let's talk about some gameplay now. For our first match, we have an early kill that I got with this shotgun that just absolutely cracked me up. I was playing duos on a night match with Shane and while attacking a boss lair, and a enemy hunter team that was mid boss fight. It was like a Looney Tunes episode. This enemy hunter fell down a ladder right in front of me and all I had to do was uh, was click for the kill and then uh, went from there. Check it out. Big barn, we gotta get in close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hard luck, I swear. First floor, you think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I had a dunk. Emulator, are you kidding me? Dumb gun. 
useful. <laughs> the emulator just like pushed him out in a way. I'm creeping up. Uh, the bus is still alive. All right, I'm breaching. You ready? Uh, I think so. Killed one. Nice. I think they're upstairs. Yeah, they're fighting upstairs. You said one of them's down already? Yeah, one of them's down. Oh, the fire's dead. That's why I couldn't kill it. She just jumped down outside. Got her. Nice. I heard her jump. <laughs> so it's a bash. So you two of them down, you said? Two of them down. I'm gonna play some traps. Look where this back door is. It was like a cartoon. As soon as I opened the back door, she just went plop. <laughs> I just it's... blasted her with a shotgun. Hand crossbow. For our final match here, we have a duos match with Edgar, where we had a team that had actually uh, heavily trapped an underground lair. This is one of the hardest ones to attack, and uh, this was pretty early on in the event. I only had, I think, 20 hours of experience uh, in the game at this point, and the attack on that well-trapped lair actually went a lot better than expected. Check it out. There. Set up a flare, trap. I think. There's traps. Be careful of traps. Yeah, just behind. It's down here. They're at 72, actually. Yeah, they did put a bunch of traps here. That's what <laughs> no, does not matter, apparently. They definitely know what they're doing. I'm gonna set off the trap up the top now. Where do I go? Right here. You missed. Oh, yeah, I have I have an angle with him. Come on, finish your little... Oh, hit the. <laughs> I'm uh, poisoned. Wait, you abandoned me? No, I'm from behind. Oh, wait. <laughs> How does that poison? Got one. You got one? Got one. I need help. Right. Come in, come in, come in. Poison's just a timer. Oh, oh he got me. Oh, fuck, I'm Romero. Slugs. That's gonna be deadly, dude. Oh my gosh. Last shell, dude. Last shell. Yeah. Oh my gosh. My heart. Yeah. Healing. <laughs> Alright guys, there you have it. The Winfield 1893 Slate. Awesome shotgun and uh, a lot of fun to use in game. Also, how cool are the sound effects in game? They are on point. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.